All right, everybody. Good uh, good Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, but let let us at least not forget um all of the blessings the Lord Jesus has laid upon thee. Um, I like to welcome everybody to a spiritual session of WSQV nightly. We would like to extend our deepest sympathies to the family of Reverend James. Uh, he sadly passed away in an incident. Involving too much food at a golden corral. Uh, he will be missed by me, Steve, and Bob, the WSQV nightly team. May he rest in peace. Or butter. Yeehaw. Uh, let's get into our sermon for today about the wonderfulness of Jesus Christ and all the love he gives us on a daily basis. Um, please turn your Bibles to Deuteronomy. Chapter 21, verse 18. Please excuse the technical difficulties that have been laid upon us by the evil of the devil and Google. Is everybody at the chapter 21, chapter 21, verse 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son that will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and though they chastise him, will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of the city shall stone him to death with stones. So shalt thou put away the evil from the midst of thee, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Um, like, uh, hang on now. Let's, uh, like, did, like, anyone check to see if the parents were on the up and up? Like, what if, like, the home life for the kid is bad? Like, the daddy's beating on them, the mom's hitting on them, calling them dumb. Like, shouldn't we figure out why he was acting up before we stoned him? Or... Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. All right. Uh, everybody, please turn to Deuteronomy chapter 22, verses 13 through 21. As our Hispanic brethren say, uno momento. Thank you. Everybody there. Praise God. Verse 13 states. If any man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her. And lay shameful things to her charge. And bring up an evil name upon her. And say I took this woman and when I came nigh to her. I found not in her the tokens of virginity. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hateth her. And lo, he hateth lay shameful things to her charge, saying, I found not in thy daughter the tokens of virginity, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity, and they shall spread the garment before the elders of the city, and the elders of the city, uh, oh, and the elders of that city shall take the man and chastise him, 
and they shall find him a hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the father of the damsel because he hath brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Israel and she shall be his wife. He may not put her away all his days. But if this thing be true, that the tokens of virginity were not found in the damsel, then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of the father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her to death with stones, because she hath wrought folly in Israel to play the harlot in her father's house. So shalt thou put away the evil from the midst of thee. Huh? Hang on. Wait. We gonna... So like, why do men care so much about the woman's body? Like, what of the man, like what if the man's got a dirty penis? He's been sticking it in goats and shit. Can the woman speak up about that? So if a guy marries a girl and he discovers that she isn't a virgin, okay, so like, like virginity is like a physical thing apparently. It's like a token like it's like a like like it's like every girl born with some tokens next to her like when she pops out of the womb or tokens coming out too that say like they have like a v stamped on them apparently though if the girl doesn't have her virginity tokens and the new husband was right that she had her virginity tokens taken the men shall stone her to death um well that seems a bit extreme um, what if the new husband, well, if the new husband wasn't a virgin and someone found out, does he get stoned too? Praise God. Um, that concludes the sermon for today. Praise be to the Holy Lord. Unless your new husband doesn't like you not being a virgin, then you get stoned to death. Amen. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but um, would it be okay if I started dropping hard R's?